What up, fools? Kenku. Feathered folk who resemble ravens, Kenku are blessed with keen observation and supernaturally accurate memories. None of them can remember the origin of the first Kenku, and they often joke that there are as many Kenku origin stories as there are Kenku. Some of them paint their genesis as a curse, being a flightless bird people doomed to mimic other people's creations. Other Kenku recite cryptic but beautiful poems about their advent being a blessed event in which they were sent into the multiverse to observe and catalog its many wonders. Whatever their true origin, and Kenku are most often found in the Shadowfell and the Material Plane, and they tend to have the coloration typical of ravens. The Kenku are humanoids. They are either medium or small, you choose when you select the race. They have a walking speed of 30 feet, and their first ability is expert duplication. When you copy writing or craft work produced by yourself or someone else, you have advantage on any ability checks you make to produce an exact duplicate. Kenku Recall is their next ability. Thanks to your supernaturally good memory, you have proficiency in two skills of your choice. Moreover, when you make an ability check using any skill in which you have proficiency, you can give yourself advantage on the check before rolling the d20. You can give yourself advantage in this way a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus and you gain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. And our final ability is mimicry. You can accurately mimic sounds you have heard including voices. A creature that hears the sounds you make can tell their imitations only with a successful wisdom insight check against a DC of 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier. So starting out analyzing mimicry, I do want to say that I think as a DM, I would allow the DC to use your charisma deception modifier instead of just charisma. This would allow a class like Rogue to still be able to get a lot out of mimicry, but as it is, mimicry is pretty much meant for the charisma-based classes, which does unfortunately narrow its use case. However, if you are one of those charisma-based classes, this is really cool to mix with a spell like Disguise Self to be able to make yourself look and sound a ton like other races and peoples and cultures. Moving on to Expert Duplication, I essentially see it as you get advantage on your forgery kit checks, which gives us a pretty big incentive to take proficiency in the forgery kit and get some use out of it. I quite like the forgery kit and feel like it has a lot of use applications once you really start digging into what you can do with it. I mean, you can pretend to be the inspector of windows for the city. You know, if that exists, do your research, but you might be able to get onto some mansion grounds that you otherwise wouldn't using your forgery kit. Just one example of millions. And now time for the pièce de résistance of Kenku's, which is Kenku Recall. Kenku Recall really defines us as a skill-based race. You take Kenku's because you have a skill you want to be good at. So skills that stand out to me are athletics. This actually really makes us be able to be a strength-based Kenku, which, you know, you wouldn't think, but if you want to do a grapple build with a build that normally doesn't get advantage on those checks, like paladins and most fighters, then you really can start setting up your grapple build. <laughs> Again, it's not like something you'd think a buff bird, but it does mechanically work. Where it probably seems to fit best is with rogues and bards because they naturally get more proficiency so it allows us to get more options of what we can take advantage with and it's really good for those moments you just cannot fail persuasion checks with important people stealth checks for infiltration missions you know big skill checks this really shines but you have to be able to predict beforehand what those skill checks will be and when they're important because you have to make this decision beforehand now you do get the plus two proficiencies but i think it really shines with the advantage proficiency times a day but if you are just wanting to expand your skill list, this is one way to do it, but it doesn't seem optimal to me. So I feel like Kenku's fit the bard the best because it's a charisma based class so we can get the most out of mimicry and it's a skills based class so we can get the most out of Kenku Recall. That's its brightest star, that's where it fits like a glove, but there are many other things you can do with it. But I will say there's going to be some classes, if you don't care about skills, if that's just not part of your build and what you're trying to do, Kenkus don't shine very bright at all. Not saying you can't do it of course, but we're talking optimization for a moment. But in any case, this has been my quick take of Kenkus. I would like to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you have differing opinions? What would you do with your Kenku build? I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. If you're interested in more of these race kind of breakdowns, the initial breakdowns, then you can check out our playlist here. Thanks for watching.